Hi, my tiny tigers and little dragons. It's so good to be back with you on this video lesson. We're gonna talk about what our responsibilities are at home, the new techniques we're working on, and also our new favorite book, There's No Place Like Space. So our big brothers and sisters are working on this black belt challenge, self-control and also on indomitable spirit. So what that means for us, you don't have to know those big giant words, what they mean is that we are working on being cheerful and cooperative. We're working on having a good attitude and being strong. So even if we don't always get what we want, we have a good attitude and keep doing our best to get along with everybody, to be patient and to be kind. So I know that you'll keep working on that and I'll ask you about that in every single class. We're also going to see a review of the seven skills we've been working on. Some of you are doing extremely well on that and adding new skills all the time. And I'm really proud to see you, see you do that. So let's have fun today and I'll look forward to seeing you in class. So for your next belt, we're going to work on seven skills. And most of you are already really good at these already, but we'll go through each of the seven of them in order so that you can practice them from this lesson. The first skill is going to be kicking, changing legs each time and keeping your balance. So I know you know lots of different kicks. I'll just give the example of front kick. So we're going to practice with our hands up and our elbows in, both knees bent, and we're going to do front kick refold and then put it down and change legs. So front kick refold, put it down, change legs. And we're going to try to go a tiny bit higher and a tiny bit faster each time, but switching legs. And I want to be able to see you do 10, that's five with each leg. You can even stand just like this with your knees bent and switch legs like this, as long as you have your balance and show me five with each leg, 10 all together, staying on your feet, keeping your balance, keeping your hands up. The next skill we're gonna work on is punching. So let's make sure that we've got our hands correctly first. So you have your hands out like this, so just hold them out and then roll only your fingers, not your thumb up, just your fingers, and then close your thumb over the middle of the middle joint of your fingers. So one, two, three joints, middle one, close it over the middle of that first finger, okay? So we always wanna be able to see your thumbs. We want our wrists straight like this and our knuckles pointed like this, okay? So wrist flat and fist tight, okay? So thumbs on the outside. And then what we're gonna do is right from where we are right here is we're gonna roll our hand out like this and punch and try to hit exactly the same spot with each hand, exactly the same spot. So you can practice on a pool noodle or mom's and dad's hand or something that will be safe for you to practice this, okay? So we're gonna change hands each time. Start with our hands up and punch, 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 10 times like that, switching hands. But remember, thumbs on the outside and straight wrists, this way and straight wrist this way so that these two knuckles are pointed like this. Right. The next skill is high blocking. So high blocking, you've all worked on before, I believe, and that's putting one hand up over your head at the right time to stop something like a pool noodle coming down over your head. So I'll show you that we start with the hands the same way as we did on punching with our hands rolled up and our thumbs outside our hands. So one hand's gonna be up here and the other hand's gonna be all the way back here going in a straight line back behind us. So what we'll do is on the outside of the other arm, change hands while the other hand comes back. So this hand is going up while the other hand is coming down. And I just want you to see that it goes on the outside of this, on the outside of the hand that's coming down. Now, we'll explain those reasons in other classes, but we also want to make sure that we have this out in front of our head as well as over our head so that it protects us from the pool noodle or whatever's coming down on our head. So, high block like this, 
changing hands each time, and you don't have to try to go too fast, but once you've done this lots and lots of times, it'll be easier to go quicker and quicker and quicker. So everyone see this angle from our hand down to our elbow? So that means there's a little bit of lean for that pool noodle to slide off the edge of our elbow after it touches, okay? So there you go, this is high block. So let's practice those so we can do 10, five on each side and catch the pool noodle on our arm every single time. I know you know lots of animal movements, but I think our favorite is still bear crawl. So bear crawl just means that we have our hands and our feet on the ground, but not our knees or anything else. So we can walk forward, we can walk backwards, we can walk around in circles, but I just want to make sure that you can go a long way up and down a carpet in a classroom, uh, keeping your knees off the ground and doing bear crawl. So this is a good way to get strong, it's a good way to get balanced, and later on it's really going to help you Use your hands and your feet together uh, when we do lots more complicated blocks and punching and things like that. So bear crawl is a wonderful exercise and practice it a lot. I look forward to seeing you do it in class soon. The next skill we're going to work on is hopping. Now I know lots of you know how to do it on one foot hopping and I know that you've done lots of different kinds of hops with us, but the one I want to see you do is with your feet all the way together and just two feet hopping forward at the same time. Okay, we can certainly do it backwards or in circles, but I just want to see you be able to do it five times across the room forward with your feet together. So hopping, 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 keeping your balance, keeping your knees bent. Also keep your balls, your feet pointed so that you're uh, heels are not hitting the floor first every time. The balls, your feet will hit the floor first. So feet together, and just hopping, hopping smoothly and strongly all the way across the room. So great for balance, great for leg strength, and this is an important skill for us all to have. My next skill is catching a ball. Now I've just got a tennis ball. You don't need to use something this small. You could even use something this big practice catching, okay? Usually the bigger and softer the thing it is, the easier it is to catch, okay? So you can practice cat, uh, passing it to yourself, but remember to have your hands open and make sure your hands are moving with the ball and that you're waiting for the ball, okay? So don't snatch at it, wait for the ball, all right? So you can practice throwing to yourself, have your hands open like a big, big basket, throw it up and just catch it, throw it up and catch it. Okay, so let's see how my friend Bob is at throwing, okay? Oh my goodness, he's not that good at catching, is he? Let's see if he can throw that. Oh, there you go. He's throwing pretty well. Amazing, huh? <laughs> okay, so hopefully you have somebody you can practice with that's better at catching than Bob and also better at throwing than I am. Okay, so have fun learning this. It's a really important skill. This skill is maybe the most important one. And the reason it's most important is because it might be the most difficult. And this skill is called standing still. So we're gonna try it from two karate positions. So remember we have three magic positions, shok, chedi, and kinye. So we'll try those. The first one is lace your hands like this, but put them behind your back. Can you see that? So put your hands behind your back, Above your belt and stand really tall. So stand up tall and see if you can stand still for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, so the next one is going to be attention. So we're just going to move our left foot. Chedi. Chedi. Stand to attention. And that means toes are together, all the way touching, toes touching each other, and then hands to your side and chin up chest out and stand tall, stand proud, stand strong, and stand still. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. So, show and chevy. Show and chevy. We'll practice standing really, really still whenever the instructor asks you in class or mom and dad ask you at another time in your life. 
practice standing still, really important skill. In the last couple of weeks, we read this wonderful book, There's No Place Like Space, all about our solar system by Tish Raby, illustrated by Aristides Ruiz. It's a cat in the hat learning library from Dr. Seuss and Random House. There's no place like space. I'm the cat in the hat and we're off to have fun. We'll visit the planets, the stars, and the sun. There's no place like space. I will prove it to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Jump in, here we go. We will fly up so high, we can dance on the moon and play games in the sky. We will swing past the stars, and in case you've missed them, you'll soon see the planets in our solar system. There are eight of these planets that circle the sun, and soon you'll be able to name every one. Mercury's close to the sun's burning light. It's hot in the daytime, but freezing at night. On Venus, the weather is always the same. Hot, dry, and windy with no chance of rain. Today's weather on Venus, really, really hot, nearly 900 degrees Fahrenheit, windy and dry. Can you guess the next planet? Well, here's my clue. It's my home and home to thing one and thing two. You have been living on it each day since your birth. It's the third from the sun. It is our planet, Earth. It spins all the time round and round like a top. It turns once every day and it never will stop. This question had thing one and thing two in a tizzy. If the Earth's always spinning, why don't we feel dizzy? We don't feel the Earth as it spins on its way because we're spinning right with it, right now, every day. Next, here is Mars. It's the color of rust. We sneeze here because it is covered with dust. Travel to Jupiter and you will find it is bigger than all of the other planets combined. Saturn has rings, it's so light, who would think it could float in an ocean and not even sink? A planet can have satellites that surround it. Uranus has lots of these objects around it. There are colors in space, I will show some to you. Neptune, planet 8, is a beautiful blue. We have seen all the planets. Now here's a trick to remember their names and remember them quick. Mallory, Valerie, Emily, Mickle just saved up 999 nickels. Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. The first letter of each of these words is the same as the first letter in each of the planets you name. Now here's a game you can play in the sky. Connect all the stars you can see with your eye. It's star dot to dot. Use your imaginations and you'll see the big pictures we call constellations. A star in the sky may look like a dot, but it's really a big glowing ball and it's hot. And there's one star by far, it's our favorite one. We can't live without it, a star called the sun. From the Earth it looks big, there's a reason why it's closest to Earth, or it's the closest to Earth of the stars in the sky. But be careful and never look right at the sun, your eyes would get hurt and that would not be fun. How big is the sun? We just heard right this minute a million of our Earths could all fit right in it. Oh look at the time, we must go very soon, but first we must take a quick look at the moon. The moon does not shine in the sky in the night, but like a big mirror, reflects the sun's light. Astronauts flew to the moon to explore, a place no one had ever been to before. 
They walked on the moon and then they drove all over in a special moon car called the Lunar Rover. An astronaut studies what's up in the sky. Thing two wants to be one. In fact, so do I. The universe is a mysterious place and we're only just learning what happens in space. So I brought you a present to look in the sky. Just put this telescope up to your eye. Oh dear, I must go fly back up to the stars to take thing one and two out to dinner on Mars. But there's lots to discover, and it might be you who looks up in the sky and finds something that's new. What is the one thing you'll get every year on your birthday, guaranteed? A year older, of course. <laughs>